what will they end up going with? And it looks like more of the same, ladies and gentlemen. And this is this is definitely a discussion point to be had about the one hero limit. Is it almost I don't know, ZP, you might have to correct me on this, but it, it's almost starting to feel like one hero limit actually makes for even more standard lineups than uh than when we see multiples of heroes. Like Almost every single team is picking uh, Mercy, Reinhardt, mm -hmm. Lucio, Widow, and then the last two are kind of up in the air. Usually McCree. Ooh, you hear that? But like uh, you get, that, you, you get your McCrees, you get your Junkrats. But yeah. yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of slots that seem standard. Reinhardt, of course, always in the mix, and it's uh, interesting because you know, a lot of people think. Or part of the debate between one hero limit versus uh, no hero limit is that a lot of people go, well, okay, you see a lot of Delta McCree's no hero limit, but then you're going to see a lot of standard stuff in one hero limit as well, just because of the fact that there's not enough heroes in the game yet. I do think adding more heroes to the game will add more diversity. And it's an interesting debate going forward, but this is something the players have asked for for a long time, so, you know, this is what we going with here today. But looking here at the defense for Envious as they uh, set up here, it's going to be Harry Hook on the McCree, Chipsogen on the Mercy, Taimu on the Defensive Widowmaker, Coco on Reinhardt, Internet Hulk on Symmetra, and Tailspin. Give me the final piece here on Junkrat. All right, the attacking team coming out the gate with a Zarya. So only only a slight switch up. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the core four are still here. And it's almost the core five because you McCree is almost always part of this as well. But actually, I, I take that back. No Widowmaker for the attacking team, uh, which is a little bit interesting. Yeah, usually you'd expect to see too easy versus Taimu uh, starting out early here, but not quite happening. Taimu right now will have a free reign of it. I think Unfix has to be very, very careful in what he does here because Taimu's going to be looking for him, and Widow versus Farah usually does not work out too well for the Farah. And uh, the offense right now of Reunited really taking their time, not able to get through here as well as they would like. And uh, they suffer a casualty there as Unfix goes down the tailspin as they try and rush in. Now they're trying to rush out to reset, but... Uh, Ryu and I definitely have a rough time here so far as the defense picking up another two kills. Yeah, that's nice resurrection for the attacking team, but there's also a res for Chip Jin on defense. So, uh, I don't know if this is, this is an engagement that actually Envious wants to take. They have a huge F deficit when it comes to ultimates. They've now lost Cruz as well, so I think Reunited has to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, Reunited, this is not going well for them. They're not really even getting any attrition that they need here. They're sort of trying to push in. What's up, we're going? And by the way, here comes the rip tire over the top. Tailspin guiding it, going for Morte. Not going to land. He had to blow it up early. But meanwhile, Taimu in the back picks up another two kills. They have not had an answer here for Taimu so far. And I got to think that after two easy uses Graviton, if they do not take the point, he's going to be switching the Widowmaker. And if they do take the point, he'll probably switch Widowmaker. Wow, this is so one-sided so far, even though we're only two minutes in. Every fight has gone squarely to the favor of Envious. And, um, that is not reflected in an ultimates right now, though, as we could see a slight ultimate advantage for the attacking team. Uh, but I do want to remind everyone that that oh, teleporter is now up for the defending team. So it does look like Envious is going to be able to get back into the action very quickly. It's got to be a clean fight now for Reunited. They have to get the kills in quick succession. Can they do it here? Too easy. He's going to start with the Graviton Surge. ZP, take it away. The Graviton absolutely uh, landing, but doesn't get quite as much as they want right away. They do get two, three kills off of it. The Resurrection can bring them back up, but look at that. Winghaven sending them back down. Will there be the follow-up? Absolute crazy at the point. Coco again dropping Earth Shadow Zone. Not getting as much as he'd like, but the defense is hanging in here. They do have, The teleporter is down for the defense. Uh, it has been used, uh, or went down the unfixed, in fact, was not used up. And now I think this might be going in favor of Reunited. It's been messy. The, t the tire is out for Tailspin, looking for something. Not going to blow up anything here just yet. But uh, this is rough. Uh, very uh, back and forth on the point. His ship's now chasing off Tracer with a Mercy pistol. Oh, Unfix spots up the Mercy. Going to take the Mercy out very quickly. I think there's still a chance, though, for Envious to delay here. They're going to jump onto the point, but I think they're going to die really, really quickly. And that's actually terrible for Envious now as this uh, the second point. The second portion of the map here, uh, the the saloon area, this is now squarely in the favor of Reunited, as uh, Envious down one or two. 
No, and that, that was pretty rough for uh, Envious there. You don't want to throw good money after bad. If you're going to lose a point, just lose the point, get back up and defend on the next area. They did not do that. And that was a result uh, too easy. Able to get some good positioning on the roof as Tracer. Moving forward, trying to take out Taimu, but he's low HP. He has to back out of that immediately. Excuse Both teams me. slugging it out here on top of the point. Reunited in very good positioning because of how that went down. Coco drops the Earth Shower, doesn't get as much as he would like. But uh, Envy is still in there, picking up three kills here. No Overall, Taimu now with the recon site, looking for the pickoff, being very, very Heroes careful against die. this McCree. There will be a resurrection coming out from the defense. Let's see if this is enough for them to stabilize. Okay, and again, a nice, healthy ultimate advantage for the attacking Heroes team. And Reunited, they're going to be brought right back up into the action. Winghaven resurrected right on the cart. And uh, they actually have a couple of seconds where they're going to have a man advantage here. Six versus five too easy taking out Taimu. Here it is. We're waiting for it from the, since the beginning of the game. The too easy versus Taimu Widow duel. Too easy striking first blood. And now the 6v5. This is a pretty good advantage here for United if they can take advantage. We do have Internet Hulk going absolutely ape here in the back. Primal Rage active chasing down too easy. Too easy having to run for his life and then some. But while this is going on, United picks up two more kills on top of the cart. Internet Hulk is not able to kill too easy here. He's going to have to run for his life. Oh man, Internet Hulk with balls of steel able to survive for a while there, but eventually will go down Heroes too easy. He's about up a to get a triple kill here, laying in the damage. Got two. Resurrection coming up from Chips. We'll see it's enough. They're resident in a really rough position here. Sound Bear coming out from the offense. And Volataja yeah. in the back has the dead eye at the ready. Not gonna connect. High noon, just kidding. What a nice sound barrier for the attacking team. All six gave him that additional 500 HP. And overall, uh, this has been a lot of momentum for Reunited. I mean, they haven't gotten as much payload pushing in the last little bit as they would like, but they've cleanly been winning these fights, and Envy has yet to stabilize over the last minute or so. Alright, Reunited is striking back after a bit of a slow start. And uh, now working on an okay time. Nothing super special. Uh, but if they're able to keep this momentum in their favor, this could end up being nice for them. Yep, they're moving in. Unfix takes out Tailspin. Voltage looking for more. Does have Deadeye at the ready. Was fanning the hammer. This is still 65 in favor of Reunited. The only th reason why they're not pushing in a little bit further is that they do need to push a card in the back. They have three people on it. And this will give the defense a little bit of time to reset and adjust. But you look at the ultimates here. They don't really have a whole lot on the defensive ult side. They have Sound Barrier and Primal Rage. That's about it. Well, I'm interested to see Tailspin switching on over to Pharah for this final point on defense. It's not exactly... I wouldn't imagine that Farrah's particularly better than anyone else, but, you know, whatever works. And in the back, we have Voltage with the Deadeye looking for anything. We'll take out Taimu. Patience paying off. 65 now in favor of Reunited. And this is where they can be a little bit more aggressive. They have an edge. They can move forward. I don't think Chips is going to blow the res just for that, but look at that. Tailspin on the defensive Farrah that we are just talking about. Able to take out Voltage, so evening up a bit here. And I think Farrah in this last point can be pretty good, especially when you have a player like Tail playing it. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right. They're spamming the rockets from far away, and that's been a huge annoyance for Winghaven, whose shield is just now back up to 1,000 HP. But an aggressive push here coming out of Reunited. Doing pretty well so far. Yeah, Winghaven drops the Earthshire, knocks down multiple people, only kills one off of it. And Envy now getting back on set point, drops an Earth Shatter of their own. Coco coming back into the fray after that. And now with Internet Hulk on Winston being aggressive, the defense for Envy should be able to just push this right back out. All right, well, too easy. Now playing Widowmaker, and uh, Widowmaker pretty much the enemy, the mortal enemy of any Pharahs, but actually he's switching up. What's he going to switch to? Okay, Roadhog. Back on Roadhog at the end here. Very interesting by move by too easy. Indeed. But look at the defensive ultimates up here. Not only do they have Deadeye and Primal Rage, they also have Barrage. We have not seen a huge Barrage here yet in this map, but Tailspin might have that here on the menu. Moving forward with the speed boost, going to the back, drops the Barrage with Morte, looking for more. A double Ooh. kill, a triple, as Tailspin goes off. Beautiful positioning, and it pays off here for Envy, as Envy almost certainly going to clean up the last remaining members of Reunited here on this point. And that was an unfortunate series of events for Reunited because they wasted completely Lucio's sound barrier from that engagement and no longer have any kind of advantage when it comes to ultimates at all. So, defense stacked up on ultimates. Offense needs to build something else up. Unfixed also starting from scratch here as he's now switched on over to Pharah. This is going to be tough. Um, but I think one of the reasons why Too Easy may have switched on over to Roadhog is his ability to take down Reinhardt shields. I think he's kind of un un uh, underrated when it comes to down to his ability to take down the opponent's Reinhardt. 
No, definitely. Uh, Cracking Reinhardt shield, a very important part here. Voltage, though, going in, is going to take out Taimu. Taimu having a little bit of rough times with Kree the last few minutes. Earthshatter coming down from the defense. Not sure if it's going to be enough, but look at Tailspin. Over the top, takes out Unfixed, gets the double kill. Tailspin just doing whatever he wants as defensive fair. Now Morte in trouble in hot pursuit. Going to have to Guardian Angel away as Envy now getting the kills. And a beautiful midair just annihilates Unfixed. And Tailspin really coming in in the clutch here as this defensive era. You think uh, think Tribe's experience is paying off a little bit there with the midair? Absolutely. And the funny thing about Tailspin, he likes playing projectile classes more, but he was a beast on hitscan. He just, you know, he's like, hey, no, I'm really good at hitscan. I just feel like I don't need to play it. Tailspin in a nutshell. All right, guys. So both teams stacked up with three ultimates for this next engagement. And uh, I think Cruz is going to want to wait until he has his... Sound barrier. A sound barrier could be all that Reunited needs, but with only 50 seconds left, this is no longer a good time. It's not a good time at all. It's a bad time, even if they set one at all. So Reunited, the pressure very much on them to make it happen in this next push. Reunited needs something to happen for them right here, right now. Tailspin, though, takes out oh. Winghaven. Has them fixed in his sights. Earth Shatter coming down oh. hugely from Coco. Knocks down three. And Envious is going to soar him on top of the Reunited side. And Reunited has maybe one last push left if they're lucky. Stop it, Tailspin. Stop it. He is absolutely dominating Unfixed in the Pharah versus Pharah battle. And just like that, Unfixed is now switched on over to Reaper, which is uh, an interesting play indeed. I'm not sure. I would have switched to Reaper in this position. Maybe a Genji. I would have liked to see Genji perhaps in the final point. All right, we got Holog coming out from Too Easy, looking to crack that Reinhardt here. Volatage takes out Taimu again. So this is the last gasp here. Sound bear is out here from the offense. Two kills so far, but let's take a look at Chipsuchin. Chipsuchin could have the big res, is going to res out those fallen heroes, but dies for it as Reunited looking reinvigorated. Uh, the kill feed going on their favor. The resurrection doesn't do a whole lot in the end, and Reunited might have this after all. They might, but there's enough time for Envious to spawn here and tr start zipping around, although we can't see the mass tracer spam. It's just Chipsuchin who dies instantaneously. There's no way to delay. If you don't have multiple divas, you don't have multiple tracers, you can't do it. And Reunited ends up setting a time after all, but not a good one. All righty, so there it is. Time is being set by Reunited, but as Fishstix notes, this is not a very quick time. And Envy has to be pretty happy about how that went down. They have all the time in the world to win this map and go up one to nothing over Reunited. <laughs> Plenty of time to do it. But uh, who knows? Maybe we're going to see something a little off kilter, a little weird out of Reunited on defense. Maybe we'll see a Torbjorn. Maybe we'll see a Bastion. And uh, <laughs> 18,000 damage for Tailspin. Are you freaking serious, man? That's, that's that insane. is a lot of damage. It counts shield damage as well. But anytime yeah. you have a number like that, that is absolutely gigantic. Yeah. All right, guys, switching sides. Now we're going to be envious on attack. Reunited has to put up quite the defense to hold for over 10 minutes. It's going to be tough to do. Yeah, I mean, it's not impossible. We've seen Reunited have good first point holds in the past, but their work is absolutely cut out for them here. And, you know, envious again, they have to feel pretty good about the situation they're in here. So long as they basically complete the map, they are in and they will uh, take map number one. But, you know, let's not count anything until it happens because we have seen, as I just mentioned, uh, Reunited come out very strong on their defending runs. Yep, it's uh, it really is anyone's game, although the advantage to Envious after uh, holding for over 10 minutes. Let's get this going and see what everyone ends up choosing for the first heroes of the game. It's probably gonna be a lot of Reinhardts, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of Mercies, a lot of Lucios, probably a McCree or two. And the snipers to round things out. We do have Too Easy playing Widowmaker on defense. But actually no mercy for the defending team. So that's a little interesting as they've opted to go. This is surprising. I wonder if Morte yeah, was just speed boosting up Cruz and is going to switch because usually mercy has been a staple on both sides no matter what. Oh yeah, you're right, CP. You're right. Is he switching? There it is. I'll be watching over you. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Mercy, for those who are wondering why you're seeing Mercy all the time, Mercy builds ult really, really quickly, and sort of consensus in the comp community right now is that a she's almost too good not to run under most situations. I mean, the Resurrection is absolutely huge. It builds uh, usually for every fight, sometimes twice a fight, so pretty hard to run without Mercy right now. But looking at the rest of the team coming out for Reunited, it is going to be Unfixed on the Junkrat, Winghaven on the Reinhardt, Morte on Mercy, Too Easy on the Widowmaker, Cruz on the Symmetra, and Volatile's going to round things out here on the McCree. That unfixed Junkrat is scary, dude. 
he has got to be one of the better Junkrats um, in the game right now. He's going to start with a, also a very forward-facing defense. They're, they're a bit further forward than you might expect, and they will again back off a little bit quicker to back off this time, ZP. Yeah, they definitely didn't want to repeat before where uh, they got caught a little bit out and ended up paying the price. Looking at the offense coming up from the side of Envy here, Tailspin again on the Farragun, look for an opportunity. Too Easy though, very well could shut this down if he's not careful. In fact, Too Easy is his number one objective here. He's looking to get on Too Easy, get a concussive blast over, actually takes the high ground, but Too Easy, using Widow's hit scan to his advantage, gonna take him out in short order. Uh, Coco's all by himself, this is an interesting pincer move with the Reinhardt flanking from one side, the rest of the team coming from behind. Coco's still up, and he's going to hit a fire strike that hits two. He's going to dash as well. So Coco, all by himself, making tons of work happen. Speaking of work, Taimu uh, getting two kills there in the end, laying down a lot of damage. Now moving forward as Envy might be taking point A with incredible speed here. And look at Taimu. He's just going so deep in. This might be too deep. And find out in a second. He's looking for a pickoff, but Taimu again doesn't have a lot of help if uh, he gets jumped on by more than one hero. The thing about McCree is, like, even if you're crouching, you can still hear him walking around. He's got those, uh, he's got the jingling. So, Taimu trying to play sneaky here. This could work, but it could also bite him in the ass. They don't see him yet. Secret <laughs> Agent McCree so going on right now. He is on an adventure. This is, oh, this is hilarious. pretty entertaining. He's get looking for the McCree there. Uh, elevator timing not in his favor. Is he going to take this elevator up? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is happening. The slowest flake of all time. They see him. Oh no, no, why? All that for nothing. Taimu going down. Oh man, meanwhile, Tailspike getting on top of the roof. Is able to take out too easy. Uh, Envy's still making good progress here on the cart. In fact, Donut Hulk takes out Morte, so uh, he does get the resurrection off before dying. There's that, but Taimu going in, takes out too easy. Four kills here for Envy as they move forward. This is domination as Envious has a clean wipe. Winghaven, the only one for his team. It's an ultimate. Actually, Valutasha has picked, it, picked this up as well. But uh, the, this uh, road streets phase, we've got to come up with better callouts and better names for all these things. But yeah, the second Absolutely. portion of Hollywood has gone squarely in the favor of Envious, and they have so much time to work with now as they may even get the checkpoint to boot. Barrage might be on the table here. Time who gets one kill with the Dead Eye. Barrage on the way. Cruz goes down. Tailspin looking for the double. Picks up the double. Time who getting a double as well. And they just get right there. And a beautiful shot. Takes out too easy from across the map. And Vera be Vera action. What is happening? Wow. This Envious team looking incredible. And Envious Internet Hulk even going to be taunting a little bit with uh, with Winston. Pulling out his, his taunt. His little animation there. So time-wise, Envy is saying a great time here. They have seven and a half minutes left for sticks. It's going to take the defense of the gods for Reunited to hold on. All right. Yeah, this is this is rough, man. And still no ultimate advantage for Reunited at all on defense. It's actually squarely in the favor of Envious now. Winghaven uh, moving in, not able to get as much done, wasn't able to drop the Earth Shatter. As Tailspin again coming in off the double kill, dies it too easy, but the resurrection on point. Envy just wants to end this right here, right now. They're trying to keep the pressure up. Taimu on the unfixed. And now look at this, we're gonna have a barrage up soon here from Tailspin. Just needs to land a few more rockets. The Earth Shatter doing all sorts of work. Two people knocked down. Coco makes it a double kill. And this could be GG right before eyes miracle here. He's actually able to get, collect one kill somehow, and he should get, get the health pack. Oh no, Perry Hope gets the health pack right in front of him. And this is desperation mode if I've ever seen it for Reunited. They have to pull off a miracle here. Now yeah, here comes Tailspin on top, does have sound barrier, could drop the barrage any second. Looking to kill the Mercy, doesn't blow it just yet. Barrage on the way, down goes Morte. Not gonna get too much more than that, but the Resurrection will be back up. Envy again, keeping the pressure up. Meanwhile, take a look here, Taimu in the back, trying to take out Reinhardt, will get that Reinhardt kill. Internet Hulk over the point, and uh, Reunite slowly getting ground down here. They need to do something big soon, or they will be losing this, which means they will be losing this map. Yeah, Taimu again to give another kill. Resurrection out for Reunited. This is their last gasp now, Fish Dicks. You can't imagine that Reunited is too happy with their performance here, as Envious has looked entirely dominant in this map here on Hollywood. The series is just one map in, though as we, the payload will roll in. And what a time set by Envious. Uh, night and day difference from the attack of Reunited. And uh, I'm, I am wondering what the hell has been going on in the Envious practice regime. Because this team 
looking about as dominant as IDPD ever did when they were on their 60 streak win win streak. I mean, that was so one-sided for Envious there. I mean, the most I can say is that the team house clearly uh, helping them. I mean, I think some of them still might have jet lag. That's how recently they've moved into that team house, but uh, they are all together. They are playing from one location and saying a time of 438 against reunited on EU servers where they're playing from North Carolina. You can't ask for more than that. Envious with an absolutely dominant showing up now one to nothing or reunited and we'll see just where reunited brings us on map number two. Um, okay, Reunited, you gotta imagine they're going to King's Row here. Uh, it's, everyone picks King's Row, but Reunited also, no different. They they do tend to favor King's Row. We'll see, though. Will it be a surprise pick of Route 66 here? I'm gonna find out in a second. I would like to see Route 66. We don't see it nearly as much nowadays, and uh, having that would be pretty darn cool. It's probably the... Uh, is it the most reviled payload map right now? I feel like we see it the least out of any other payload map. Yeah, I think you're right. Nimbani, probably the next least picked. I don't know. Find out here in a second. It is a reunited choice. They can bring us to uh, Route 66 if they want, or King's Row. Both are on the table. Could be King's Row, the old tried and true. It doesn't seem like Envy likes playing on that as much as some of the other maps, so maybe that's a decent choice. Uh, we'll see. Just waiting this one out, guys. Let's see where we're headed. I think, uh, you know, it seems like Reunited is, uh, is having a pretty deep discussion about where they want to head next. On one hand, King's Row, it's, it's what they're comfortable with. It's the tried and true classic map that they know so well. But, of course, that means so does Envious. Uh, so are they going to try to do something off the wall, something wacky? You know, I want to say that the hero lineups we've seen so far in this tournament have been more standard than any tournament in recent memory. Like, we haven't seen a single Bastion, a single Torbjorn. Uh, it's really been just this standard 8 to 10 heroes uh, that have rounded out the tournament so far. So, no maze. Oh, you know. it's happening, Fishsticks. Route 66 Ooh. is on the way. For those who have been waiting to see it, it is going to happen. And I agree. I'm actually a little bit surprised we haven't seen Bastion come out at least once as a uh, switch-up pick. We usually see Bastion make uh, appearances here and there, but uh, Bastion not showing up even a sort of a gotcha type moment, a little bit surprising here thus far. Yeah, we have had some variation in the in the or sorry, the tanking class. We have of course seen too easy picking a bit of Roadhog. We have seen quite a bit of Zarya as well, um, and we have seen. Uh, we can't. We can't. Uh, I can't make it sound like it's it's too stale because we have seen quite a bit of Symmetra. Um, of course, Junkrat coming into play a lot on defense, Pharaoh a lot on offense, and McCree's and Widowmakers all day to round things out. Alrighty, so we are ready. I think the players are about to be ready. And uh, Route 66 coming at you, where if nothing else, you will get to see the uh, big plays coming right on top of Big Earl's Diner. So uh, that's where it always goes down on the diner. I love all the uh, de attention to the detail in a Route 66. Like they have made puns about every just terrible billboard or advertisement you could ever imagine. Uh, definitely a lot of love and care when the Route 66. And given the, the fact that just aesthetically it has more of a throwback to, you know, older games like TF2, I'm a little bit surprised it's not as popular as a map. I think part of it, though, comes down to, you know, when you see things like Double Winston, the quarters are relatively cramped on 66. So things like Double Winston actually did get a whole ton of value. And maybe that plays a little bit in the why teams don't like it. It's now also this, the newest payload map, so it could just be that as well. And this was one of the maps that actually favored Bastion more than more than uh, most others, uh, both on attack and defense, surprisingly. And we've seen guys like Surefor rock a whole lot of Bastion on this map in particular. Uh, at least in the NA scene, we've seen guys like Zoms uh, back last week in Agents Rising playing a lot of Bastion here as well. Um, yeah, and like I said, both on attack and defense, although defense a little bit more often. All right, so we should be good to go here in a moment. Uh, everyone's saying they're ready, uh, just waiting for the final uh, start button here. Uh, I think it's Harry Hook that's host. I'm going to say, go, go, Harry. Although now that might be misconstrued as I'm rooting for Envious or something. Who even knows? But he is the man with his uh, finger on the button. So yeah, predictions-wise, I mean, uh, given what we saw last game, I'd definitely favor... Envy going to this game, but again, I can't really write off Reunited ever. Reunited, there was a point where they were marked more by their inconsistency than their consistency, and they have the ability to just go off and dominate a game, even if they were just dominated, so really could go either way. 
All right, the groovy guitar music here on Route 66, and we're gonna get into it. So these two teams clash, and uh, it's a big moment, I think, for Reunited. Uh, for a while, they were the number one team in Europe. Um, you know, after IDDQD kind of imploded, and Rogue hadn't formed yet, and Envious hadn't formed yet, uh, Reunited really was the top team. Um, but now, all of a sudden, it's starting to look like there are a number of teams that can uh, potentially beat them, uh, hailing from Europe. So they they definitely want to pull this back for their own confidence and for their own uh, position within the scene. Definitely, and uh, Reunited, of course. Uh, there is sort of a history there where even though Reunited has been one of the top teams in EU for such a long time, they've had difficulty pulling out tournament wins. Uh, you know, their sort of motto and rallying cry at times is, you know, forever second. And uh, Too Easy will make fun of it himself to a point where I think one of the last tournaments they won, they said, wait, we actually won a tournament? But it's just strange because they are such a good team. They're always, you know, top two in most cases. It's just getting over the hump and getting number one, sometimes a struggle for Reunited. All right, so squarely on top of Big Earl's Diner, that is where pretty much every top team is playing defense. Um, you don't really want to be too much further than that in almost any cases. But let's take a look at these lineups, ZP. We actually have one sniper on defense, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see Symmetra on this map. I didn't think that this would be a great Symmetra map. I'm really curious why I'm seeing so much more Symmetra right now. I Let's feel like she fell out done. of the meta entirely, and people are running her even on payload maps where historically she wasn't used that much. Too easy, starting off things with a bang, instantly building 24% ult by shooting Roadhog. Tailspin, of course, going to heal up right away, so not too oh, much Tailspin coming all the way from the side. He's going to get Symmetra right oh, off my the goodness. bat, what and that a is pick. terrible. The Roadhog hook is real. Tailspin flexing his shops now on the one and only Hog. He gets away, has ships healing him. We'll see if this is enough as uh, Envy with that first pick. Definitely saying a bit of a tone here. Teleporter not coming up anytime soon. And we have here Widow versus Roadhog. Widow's going to have to run for her life. And will the Hog be a factor here? We're about to find out. Oh my goodness, he hooked Mercy, but she ends up getting saved by the wall. That could have been huge. Yeah, chips the gin for Envious. Had her resurrection up, but gets taken down early in that engagement, which is going to snowball it all the way into the favor of Reunited. Although this next fight will be advantage to Envious as they will have the offensive resurrection at their disposal. No one can. Alrighty, so defense reunited, uh, resetting up here. Uh, Tailspin still in the Roadhog. Uh, not too much in the way of changeups here just yet. And we gotta watch Roadhog here again here just to see will he get that all important first pick. The hook does not connect. But they're really focusing on the payload. This is one thing about Envious I've noticed. They prioritize the payload a little bit more than other teams, but look at this over the top, unfixed, able to take out Aaronet Hulk, Voltage on the chips. There will be no res here for the offense, and Attack Visor could be coming out any moment. Okay, and this has been nice play so far by Reunited, but Coco striking back. There's a little hit squad moving around the backside, made of a Reinhardt who now goes down, as well as is that a McCree. Yes, time is coming up top with McCree, and. Time is one of the scarier McCrees in the game, of course. So even though Reunited was on top, uh, it looks like Envy is finding ways to gain some sort of an advantage, and the payload's getting so close. Yeah, the payload's getting forward, even though they've been absolutely getting out DM, but a huge Earth Shadow comes down, knocks down three people. Soundbear are going to mitigate a lot of the potential flop there. Voltage now on top of the point, getting pushed around, not able to get the fan kill he was looking for, as Aeronet Hulk going to take him out. And look at this, Aeronet Hulk off the res, can drop the Death Blossom, gets one, gets two, makes it a triple. A perfect Death Blossom coming out from Aeronet Hulk here. And we'll see if this is enough for Envy to take this point. Oh, what a crazy prolonged fight as both teams have a number of players up. But it does look like Reunited finally gaining an advantage. And Cruz, after two and a half minutes, just now finally going to be able to get his teleporter up. And that's great for Reunited. At the, the beginning of this game been very, very shaky. But Reunited finally has their teleporter up. And uh, this is looking good. Good choice. Definitely looking good here uh, so far. Also, uh, thank you. Uh, apparently, our team name's gotten inverted. There, there. Now it's a little bit better here. It's Reunited versus Envious. Reunited is the defending team. Yeah, he's got to swap at some point, but here we go. Deadeye is coming out here from Voltaja. Voltaja looking for the kill. Will take out Tailspin on a double kill here so far. Looking to make it a triple, fanning the hammer right into Coco's back. And again, Reunited, this is a really strong defense. I was not expecting this early on here. This is not usually where you'd see a team hold for this long, but Reunited's making it happen as Voltaja taking out chips. Sort of the exclamation point to that team fight. And, you know, Morte even using his resurrection, so that teleporter has tons and tons of charges left on it. It's gonna allow people to get right back into the action super quick. 
I think it still has four charges left or so. Three charges, looks like. Oh. I'm gonna note uh, team switch up wise. We do have Tailspin on the Genji now. Uh, for those who oh, like Genji. the hog, he is going away. But Dragon Blade could be the ticket to breaking through this next point. We'll see. Taimu starting things out with a bang. Takes out too easy with the dead eye. And now Tailspin getting deep into the back. About to have Dragon Blade with all that damage being done. Dragon Blade on the way out, being unsheathed. We'll see if he gets value off that. Gets one uh, slice and dice. Looking for more. Looking for 76. Gonna get the double kill here on Genji. All right, I think Tailspin this might be what MD needs <laughs> with Genji. No, he's not really known for his Genji, although we have seen it before. Um, but nice, nice stuff by Tailspin. You know, it makes sense. I mean, players that play a lot of projectile DPS classes, your Pharaohs, your Junkrats, etc., they do feel at home at Genji. It's still uh, kind of in the similar vein. Yeah, I'm a Genji fan. It's my favorite to play, actually. Genji's just cool on a whole sorts of levels. Everything from deflections to just making huge plays. Don't seem as much as we used to, but definitely has its place in the game and can definitely be very, very impactful as we just saw right there. Oh man, Internet Hulk again. He he really has a knack for getting in the face of his opponents, but knowing exactly when to fall back as well. Look at Winghaven, Winghaven looking for the Earth Shadow right now. Just gonna W Mouse one down the Lucio. Gets the kill on the chips as well. Wildly swinging the hammer, paying off as uh, Reunited now. Five kills, going to be effectively a full team wipe, and they are giving Envious all sorts of troubles here on 66. Clean sweep there for Reunited. They've picked up a pretty nice, healthy ultimate advantage as well. Although we are going to get it kind of evened up. Actually, parity will be coming pretty soon here. But too easy with a quick pick off Taimu, and that's uh, leaving en Envious now down out six versus five in the next engagement, and I think best for them to just wait. They gotta wait another 10, 15 seconds for time to get back into the action. Indeed. So defense holding on here, a minute 30 left. Uh, this has been a great defense so far by Reunited and Envy, I think if they wanna have any hope of completing this map, they really need to go forward and win this next team fight and move on from there. If they get stuffed here and Tailspin's Dragon Blade does not get value, it might be GG. Oh, let's oh, here he comes, Dragon Blade on the way, in the back line, looking for Mercy. Mercy the target of priority, but Mercy giving Tailspin the slip, and Volataja with the punish. And now here comes the Deadeye, Volataja absolutely exploding here with the triple kill. And Envious looking like a different team here on uh, Rustic Route 66, and that's the team kill horn. Yeah, great stuff out of Reunited. They've just been, uh, they've had uh, the ability to rotate very effectively Thanks. here on this point. Put it on my tab. People come from around the side or try to come from over top. They've just been calling that out, communicating very well as a team. And, uh, here comes the dead eye from Taimu. Will he be able to collect anything out of it? We'll find out here in just a moment, but Taimu will get the, some value off that. Takes out Voltage, and that's huge given how much Voltage has been doing in the last few team fights. Envy really on their last gas here. They don't have much time. Tailspin on the Reaper switch. Takes out Winghaven in the back, looking for a little bit more. Going for the reload, but there's a sound barrier out. There's a dead eye out, and a Tailspin has to run for cover. Right, Taimu needs to start putting the carry pants on a little bit more. The last couple of engagements, I've actually watched him, and he hasn't been able to collect any kills at all. And look at this. Reunited. They had the right idea in mind when they picked this map, apparently, because it looks like it's working out well for them. No, I mean, uh, they look like a completely different team. I did not expect this going in. This is the last gas now for Envious. If they get off the cart for any reason, it will be over. And the defense, again, swarming on the kills. Voltage on the double will kill yet it? again. Taimu right now, one of the last people remaining, and this is not good odds for a solo decree. Taimu going to go down to this big hammer of Reinhardt. Deadeye on the way out, and uh, Tailspin now on Farah. Really trying anything here. Tailspin going to go down. Double kill here for Voltage as he just regulates from the back. Hey, what a hold coming up from Reunited. Yeah, wow. Unexpected to see a full hold. They're, they didn't even get past the second checkpoint. Envious didn't, so Envious, uh, I don't know. Need to think about their lineup a little bit more. Um, hmm. Not sure what they needed exactly. Never die. What do you think, ZP? Did they, did they choose the wrong lineup, or was it just uh, the engagements didn't go their way? I think a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I also think it might just be the fact that I'm not sure 66 really gets scrimmed on as much as other maps. And it's possible Envy could have just been unprepared there. They, it seemed like they didn't have as firm an idea of what they wanted to do as they did back on Hollywood. So... Yeah, I don't think they're running the right comp in particular. I think they might have been better with Tailspin on Farah earlier in the game. I mean, more than anything else, they just didn't seem anywhere near as coordinated as they were in Hollywood. Absolutely. 
Okay, switching sides and uh, tail and reunited. All they have to do is beat the time set on the first point or get to the second point. Uh, and they'll win. They'll win this map. So uh, looking to bring it to a one-to-one -one score line in this best of three. Winners bracket finals of the Ghost of Gamers EU Weekly number eleven. Here we go. Back onto Route sixty six. The I number just keeps on increasing as time goes on. It's a beautiful thing, but it also shows how long Overwatch comp has been going on now. Of course, uh, lots of new blood in the game, uh, as seen by all the signups here. Uh, big shouts to all the teams uh, signing up and uh, testing your medal, but. Uh, the matchup right now is something we're very familiar with. Uh, we've seen a lot of these teams in uh, semifinals, finals, and all the rest over the last few months. Look at this. What What is it with the uh, EU meta and Symmetra? Internet Hulk is going to be starting on Symmetra again here on Route 66, which uh, which just kind of surprises me. I mean, for the longest... Oh, what is the, is this? Is this actually going to be the triple support meta? We haven't seen this. Uh, very well, could so be, unless now nah, Harry Hooks is switching. It's okay. one of those things where people, you see less of Lucio nowadays, especially in defense, and when you do see him, he's just to help the Symmetra set up earlier. Hey, Reyes should have cleaned up the deadlock. So, oh. triple support dream not going to happen. It's going to be Internet Hulk on the Symmetra, Taimu on Widowmaker, Tailspin on the McCree, Harry Hook on 76, Coco on the Reinhardt, and Chip's going to round things right out here on the Mercy. Here. All right, let's see what Reunited ends up choosing here in the end. This looks like it actually could be it here. Too easy. Will he start on a Reaper? That's pretty interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him switching over to Widowmaker at some point. Huh, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect Reaper to be super strong on this first point here, actually. Wonder what, yeah, what I mean, Reaper, that. Reaper on offense, it's pretty interesting. You don't usually see him get played that much, but they could just be looking for a busting here when he gets uh, his ultimate up just for the idea of, you know, we're going to charge up a bunch of impactful alts and take the point because they do have a lot of time to capture this and just win outright off first point capture alone. So Reunited not really under the gun here time-wise. All right, here comes Too Easy. He's biding his time. He's playing sneaky. Coming up from behind everybody. He's going to try to get some juicy bug shots in the back of the defending and, uh, well, didn't work taken out. out right away. But look at the cart progress that's being made here by the side of Reunited. They're moving forward. They, has, they have not been stopped yet. Unfix is on the Roadhog. Looks for Luck does not land it here just yet. Resurrection is going to come out from the side of the attack. More type ramps of Fallen Heroes, and uh, this is going about as well as it could be expected for Reunited here thus far. Killfeed going entirely red. There is a defensive resurrection coming up, but their defense is very, very scattered. As uh, Too Easy now getting a lot of value on that Reaper. Yeah, Coco has had zero luck so far as Reinhardt for Envious. And Reunited is smashing right now, making it happen for themselves, and uh, putting up a pretty damn convincing first point. And because they're captured that first point quicker than Envious did, that's going to be the map. It's one to one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say this much. Uh, regardless of how the rest of the series goes, whether it be grand finals, losers finals or what, I don't think Envious is going to go back to 66 at all for the rest of today, if not another tournament or two. Yeah. This was Envious looked like a different team on 66 and Reunite was able to do whatever they wanted. Yep. Sometimes you, sometimes it just feels like uh, a little bit unlucky in some cases, but yeah, really nice stuff out of, out of Reunited, and we're going to go to King's Row to finish off this best of three. Yep, King's Row will be the final map, but uh, big shouts to Reunited uh, coming back in force, uh, really making their point there as our series is now tied one-to-one. -one. But we're waiting to go back to Lobby, should be getting the third map here in just a moment, but... Yeah, I mean, there's really not too much to say for that. It was utter domination in favor of Envy on Hollywood. Reunited, utterly dominating on Route 66, and we're going to go to sort of Old Faithful and King's Row, the decide it all out. And I don't even Outfitting. know who to expect to win CP. here. Heading on to King's Row, and this is the winner's finals, so we've actually only got two more matches after this um, for the, to round out the day. Yep, loser's finals will be on the way after. Uh, it's been a really good cup here so far. And definitely excited to see who's going to win it all out here in the end. Yeah, big 64 team bracket now whittled down to the final three. Or it should be. I'm not sure how far we are in the loser's bracket. Yeah, looking at the loser's bracket, I could bring that up here. I think we were going to cast LB9, but they might have gone ahead and done that. Uh, let's see. Where is... 
is everything right now. In fact, I'll bring up the bracket on screen if we have a uh, brief moment here in between games. Yeah, NG Blue versus Graviton Surge in the loser bracket uh, semifinal. And interesting, N NG Blue took the win against Nubris. So Nubris, oh, wow. hopefully a little bit disappointed with the result here. But of course, yeah, no, I mean, I definitely wasn't expecting that coming out from the uh, Nubra side. I mean, Nubris is a team with a whole lot of potential. We'll be seeing more of them in the NA weeklies tomorrow, but uh, going down to NG Blue did not expect, but big shout to NG Blue. That is a tough challenger to get past. Yeah, of course, they, they are an NA team playing on EU servers, so ping not in their favor in that one. But... Alrighty, so... Uh... Letting them know that we are ready, and we should be getting it on King's Row here in just a moment. And for those who are wondering of the bracket, I was able to load things up on my side. So here is where we stand on the loser's bracket side of things at the moment. As uh, we were just talking about, uh, Nubris uh, will fall to NG Blue. Graviton Surge over Anox and uh, NG Blue versus Graviton. And I'm trying to think, didn't they, wasn't that uh, a matchup just a little bit ago? In the winner's uh, side of things? I think it was. Yeah, Graviton Surge played uh, NG Blue. I'm not going crazy. Yep, yep. So Graviton Surge is getting their salty run back against NG Blue. That'd be quite the story if Graviton was actually able to come back and beat them in loser's bracket round nine, um, sort of uh, revenging themselves and going on from there. Okay, guys, we're just waiting for the teams to ready up and we'll jump into the winner bracket finals. Final game in this best of three is going to the third map. It's going to be King's Row as well, the the tried and true classic. But at least we're, King's Row is ending a series rather than beginning it, so we're getting some variety in that regard, if nothing else. Mostly thanks to MV not really favoring King's Row as much as other maps. Now I wonder, does that give somewhat of an edge to the side of Reunited going in here for King's Row, since I think Reunited might like it a little bit more than Envy does? We'll just have to find out. All right, so just a moment here, and we will be getting in. There we go. Entering game. This is going to be King's Row, Envious versus Reunited, winner's bracket finals. Winner will move on to the grand finals. Loser will have to prove their way through the loser's bracket. All right, here we are, King's Row. And I, I do wonder very much if we're going to see anything out of the ordinary between these two teams, or if it's going to be as standard as standards gets. My guess is on the latter, most likely, as uh, both teams are probably going to want to play whatever they're really most comfortable with. And it looks I'll like we look might see the... Symmetra again, yet again. Yep, Symmetra making her appearance. Uh, she was out of the meta for a while, and now she appears to be back. Looking at the defense coming out from the side of Envy, it's going to be Chips of Jin on the Mercy, Internet Hulk on Symmetra, Taimu on the Widowmaker, Coco on Reinhardt, Harry Hook on Lucio, and Tailspin again on that defensive Junkrat. Uh, pretty much standard that we've seen a lot here today. Uh, first point Kings Row, everyone loves the Junkrat, and he's been effective. And the return of Symmetra. So much Symmetra in the tournament today when we barely saw her at all at Agents Rising, uh, and I, I still have VODs to go catch up on for TakeOver. Um, but I, I'm wondering if maybe this is just a EU thing, or if it's a just this tournament thing. It kind of seems like it's the latter. Right? Right, CP? Am I right? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Either way, 12 seconds here remaining. Look at the offense as Reunited sets up. It is going to be Volataja on the McCree, Cruz on Azaria, Winghaven on the Reinhardt, Unfixed on Farah, Too Easy on Widowmaker, and Morte going to be the final piece here on Mercy. And Too Easy versus Taimu. This is a battle we've seen time and time again. We're going to see it here now on King's Row. Whichever Widow wins these Widow duels will be giving their team a huge advantage moving forward. Okay, attacking team. Looking to try and get an early pick Just here. See if uh, Too Easy's gonna be able to do it. Rocking the Widowmaker, of course, as always. Uh, he's one of the better Widowmakers, definitely for his team and in the game in, in general. So let's see it. My is yep, timing right now, waiting. hiding back it's behind the Reinhardt, man. taking cover away from the Widowmaker of Too Easy. Too Easy might be going for a grapple shot any moment now, but uh, thus far, both teams being a little bit uh, passive here. Defense not wanting to be overly aggressive. Offense really taking their time. Unfixed though will be leaping in here as Winston any moment. Usually how these things start out. 
But again, this is a little bit tender from the side of United. They're really taking their time. But uh, Winghaven now starting to move forward. And here it comes. Taimu versus Too Easy. Uh, shots are about to be fired. Taimu is able to take out Winghaven and all that. But Too Easy takes out Taimu. First blood in the Widow v. Widow duels going the Too Easy. Let's we'll see if this is enough for United to take a point as Voltage piles on to Coco. And uh, this is. Oh, I was going to say it was starting to look good. But Taimu going insane, getting a couple. Tailspin is going to get a couple of his own. Taimu going to finish this off. So uh, at, least a, at least a couple of ultimates going to be up. Four reunited in this next fight. It looks like Envy did blow a couple of their ultimates in that last one. So there will be a momentary window for the attacking team. And Too Easy is going to pop his wall hacks as well. So they know where everyone's at. And this is the moment for reunited to shift their moment momentum. Yeah, reunited, they want to get something started here soon. You don't want to waste this much time on the first point, but it can be difficult with a defense like Envious. But here we go. Deadeye is coming out. Taimu takes out Volataja. Too easy, still looking for his own point first pick here. They are down Vol, who's sort of the backbone of the re reunited attack squad here. Harry Hook takes out Morte. Two kills here for the defense, and Envious just looking impenetrable right now. Winghaven charges deep in, gets countercharged by Coco. And that should be it for this attack run from reunited. Uh, and Chips Ajin also fully stacked with a defensive resurrection if his team so needs it. Ultimate but charge. still, still an advantage for My Reunited in terms ready. of ultimates. Uh, but can they actually, can they actually push Pretty together and, and make these ultimates combo? We're going to see in just a second, Cruz will be dropping Graviton yeah, Surge yeah. probably to start yeah. things out here. Well, what will the follow-up be after that? We'll see. The Graviton, though, is at the ready. Should be coming down here any moment now. He's looking for his opportunity. Winghaven can follow up with an Earth Shatter. Unfix can go crazy in the back line to do a little bit of disruption. But two quick kills here from the defense before the Graviton even comes down. Forcing the blow the res early. Yeah, Cruz moving rough. forward. Still looking for the Graviton. We'll see if he can get what he's looking for. Will pull three people in with that Graviton. And Winghaven follows up with the Earth Shatter. Gets the double kill. And Reunite might be doing exactly what they need, but the big resurrection coming from Chips, they do not have this point yet. I have to question whether it was the right move for Mort to use the resurrection only to bring up two, and before the engagement really had started to go their way, because now it's uh, it's it's not. Now it's uh, squarely back in the favor of Envious here on the first point. Yeah, and uh, Reunited, this is uh, dangerous for them. I mean, they need to get something going soon. This might be the ticket. Unfix getting two kills as Winston. But again, look at Taimu. No one's on Taimu over the top. He has free reign to snipe whatever he wants. Now almost has Winghaven down by himself until Winghaven finally turns around. Reunited uh, respawn advantage finally going their way as they get on top of the point. But uh, that was a really good hold from Envy, and they bought themselves a lot of very valuable time. Okay, so Reunited uh, stumped for the first couple of minutes, which doesn't bode incredibly well. Uh, of course, they're still fine. They're still okay. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that on stream, but Cruz was a uh, gravit or sorry, Zarya, right click boosting himself back to spawn to switch. You don't see that very All often. Right. So the defense now uh, setting back up, and the uh, had a very good defense on point A, looking to carry that on here in the street space. Coco does have an Earth Shatter up. He's gonna be looking for that here any second right now. Earth Shatter comes down, does knock down two, but he dies in the process. Too easy, laying down the damage here as Reaper. Reaper seeing a little bit more use here in one hero limit. Voltage taking out Tailspin, and the defense getting a little bit rocked here. They force the res out. Morte still hanging on to his res, and I think that should be coming down here any moment now. He will res up those two fallen heroes. As uh, Reunited putting on the pressure, getting an extra two, and Reunited finding some renewed vigor here. All right, it's all it's going to come down to these Pharah versus Pharah battles uh, in a second here, and it is of course Tailspin playing Pharah for Envious on defense. So Unfix has a lot of work cut out for him, but actually Pharah's in a dangerous position. Tailspin's out, and they're going to collect this next checkpoint here almost for sure. I think there's going to be a quick moment where Envy will be able to charge on some point, but their positioning is going to be bad. And it's a, all the edges in the world will be going in favor of Reunited oh. here. We'll see if they can hold on. Deadeye is out. They're charging with Lucio Speed Boost. Crew's going to get taken out by Taimu. But look at that. Too Easy comes in for the back with the Death Blossom. Does not quite get as much as he wants, but still three kills here for Reunited. Chips, in fact, killing Reaper with the pistol. So a little bit back and forth, but... It does seem like Reunite has the edge here. They just need a little bit more to pu push this forward. Coco, one of the last ones remaining on the point, tries to charge away, going to go down. Oh, uh, look how bad this is now because it's going to be 20 seconds for uh, for Envious to get together six, and they don't even want to peek right now. If, if they peeked and died at this point, it could almost lose them the map entirely here, and they're just now able to get all six back together, so that payload moved freely with impunity. Too easy in danger, though. Too easy. Able to back off just 
barely there. That was a risky move. No, it paid off though. He took out Tailspin, got rid of one of the major problems to deal with on Envy, and Reunite has really found their footing here in the latter part of King's Row. Unfix going in deep, drops the barrage, gets dropped by Taimu instead. Taimu with the instant counter. Uh, Justice was not raining too much from above. Going to take out too easy. Taimu shutting people down left, right, and center here. And that did not go at all the way Reunited was expecting. No, Envy cleans house there, and now has three ultimates as well, including the defensive resurrection, resurrection up, up for both sides in this next Let's engagement. This. Uh, will we see any switches for the attacking team? It does look like Unfix still on the Pharah here, so sticking with that. Both teams rock the Pharah. All right, the defense being even more aggressive. Graviton Surge is not going to pull three people in. The Sound Bear going to protect it a little bit, but not from Taimu's dead eye. Picks up the triple kill, moving in, makes it a quad, and Taimu has been putting the team on his back over the last minute and a half. My goodness. Yeah, doing what he can with McCree. Taimu is now out of the picture, though, so this is a two-man advantage for Reunited. Do they have yeah, any ultimates in their name? Yes, uh, they're they moving do. this right back the other way. This shows how back and forth things can be in Overwatch. Even as good as I was looking for Envy, now Envy in a lot of trouble as Reunited is in the driver's seat. Chips was not able to get a resurrection off. He ended up dying. And uh, we'll see how things go. Winghaven moving in. And Reunited only needs a little bit more here to cap this out. Oh, Tailspin doing his best to try to get back. Oh, the res comes in. Three people coming back on top. Might not matter, though. Reunited just absolutely cleaning house. Uh, unfixed over the top, raining death from above. Very, very close now. And there you have it. Reunited able to cap it out, but Envy bought themselves a whole lot of time. Yeah, they, they bought enough time to move this this uh, attacking time Play to not super game. quick. So this is certainly beatable for Envy as they switch sides, but it all comes down to this next half. Fire Envy, the all the pressure is on them to beat the time now set here by Reunited. And there it is. We're watching it from the Zarya's point of view, but the time who just absolutely beasting out. All right, so the time is 7.30. That is a pretty beatable time, although it's quicker than I gave it credit for. It felt like it took longer than it actually was. I, Envy is in a position of power here, but they can't get complacent. This is, uh, I would not be surprised to see Reno come back with a strong defense of their own. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this next side. I think we're gonna see Tailspin right off, off the bat going with Farah. Of course, uh, that was kind of the, one of the things I noticed about Reunited's hero composition to start off on King's Row is that they weren't having unfixed play the Pharah right off the bat. So we'll see how Tailspin and team can do here now that they're they're taking a turn to attack and it's all the pressure, all the momentum behind them, but all the pressure on them as well to, to take a win here on King's Row by beating that time of seven minutes and 30 seconds. Indeed. Well, take a look here at the defense on the way out for the side of Reunited. Reunited definitely feeling a little bit reinvigorated towards the end of that last game. It's going to be Cruz on the Symmetra, Unfixed on the Junkrat, Volataja on McCree, Too Easy on the Widowmaker, Winghaven on Reinhardt, and even though Morte is showing Lucia right now, Thank I would expect you. him to switch back to Mercy after he's done uh, speeding up his team. Let's not waste time. I have tickets to a show tonight. I'm not sure what that says about Lucy here. It's like, well, you could be in the very beginning of the game, Lucy, and then we're gonna, like, trade you out for Mercy. You feel that? So much Symmetra. Everyone's choosing Symmetra today. And that trend will continue here. We'll have to... It makes me think that Symmetra must have had success in scrims uh, earlier in the week. I uh, didn't get a chance to catch as much of them as I would have liked, but usually when you see this going on, especially with the top teams all running it, someone was having a lot of success with Symmetra, and it just uh, carried on from there. Yeah, I'm... Uh thing we're gonna have to watch here most closely is to see if Symmetra is gonna be able to get her teleporter up. Super, super important that she does. So let's see. Will Cruz be able to hit any of those all important orbs early on in the game here and build that ultimate up quickly. Alrighty, so looking here at the offense as it sets up, it's gonna be Coco on the Reinhardt. 76 uh, right. on the Mercy. Uh, Harry Hook on the 76, Internet Hulk on the Zarya, Taimu on the Widowmaker, and Tailspin rounding things out here on the Pharah. Can't wait to see what Tailspin does over the top. Uh, Tailspin, of course, has had a beautiful Pharah for most of today, and a lot riding on his shoulders here. He's going to need to come in hard and fast. And no Lucio for the attacking team. That's super, super odd and uh, unexpected. Instead, Harry Hook opting for 76, so he's kind of playing by himself. He's going to be healing himself up as much as he possibly can. And uh, kills being traded on both sides. Tailspin left with almost no health at all. Where is he? 
He's got to be in a danger. He's in the back. He took out too easy uh, early on. Is going to get the health pack, and he's putting himself in a good position. Harry Hook on the wing haven. The offense has a lot of momentum here. They have closer respawns. And this is dangerous now for Reunited with how deep Envy has gone here thus far as Internet Hulk picks up the double. And look at this now. Uh, Tailspin landing rocket after rocket. Morte has to run for his life. The Junkrat is almost dead, survived. but they're fighting him back. Yeah, Morte just with a sliver of health. He should go down here, right? Right? No. You would think, but too easy coming in with the reinforcements, picks up the double kill, takes out Tailspin, takes out Tailspin again. And uh, too easy, perhaps trying to be the savior here, is trying to shoot Zarya, but can't because of the Graviton. All right, well, what will too easy be able to pick up? There's a corner of the capture point that he can't see, and that's kind of where Envious are hanging out right now. Still able to get a bunch of hits, but he's only tagging people, he's not getting kills. Yeah, I mean, it's doing enough to force Envious back, not make them anywhere near as comfortable. And Too Easy definitely doing a lot of work for his team here, but now uh, the jig is up. Harry Hook is in hot pursuit. Tailspin is in hot pursuit. He's going to go down. And now look at Tailspin. He's not stopping there. Symmetra running for her life. Actually lands a big orb. Oh my goodness, is Symmetra going to win this fight? Orb? No, that was way too close. Valiant effort by Cruz. Teleporter, though, will go down, and Envy will be grabbing this checkpoint. Uh, I gotta say, that is the first. That is the very first time I've seen Symmetra hit a mid-air orb versus a dodging and weaving Farah. Wow. No, I mean, Cruz has no shame there. It took a really good juggle from Tailspin to even win that towards the end. He came really close. Either way, uh, Tailspin does have Barrage at the ready. Uh, could be a big factor going in. The defense not really too charged up alt-wise here. Uh, NBS definitely had a little bit of an advantage, but uh, reunited health for a while. Here comes Tailspin, moving to the back. Barrage coming in, looks to kill Morte. Not able to grab him, and Unfix just turning the tables immediately. If you saw, T Tailspin was going straight for the supports. He was not, he, even though the rest of, N or, uh, of Reunited was actually more bunched up, he was going straight for the supports. And uh, that makes total sense. But as I've been talking, Envious has got three kills and even this up. So the fight continues. It's a brawl going back and forth. But Envious getting kill after kill. And this payload is going to move unfettered. It started out really, really well for Reunited there. But unfortunately, the Resurrection uh, was able to turn it more in their favor despite those early kills. And there's really not much more to say to it. Nothing flashy, just uh, good mechanical play coming out from Envious after uh, kind of a bad start to that fight. Okay, big ult from Balotage are gonna zone out everybody. He might even take down this Reinhardt shield if they're not not careful. Takes out Tailspin, in fact. Meanwhile, Taimu coming in over the top, one with dead of his own, takes out and fix with the headshot. Gang in the back line looking for Morte. He's going to land the dead eye, and this is a huge turnabout here for Envy. Really, uh, Coco and Taimu coming in, big avenging for Tailspin, and they're moving it along, and they have four minutes left, Fish Sticks, to cap out this map and take the winner's finals. That is plenty of time for Envious to do it here, but the closer they get to the end of the map, the more defense-oriented it is. The defense spawns so much closer than the offense at that point, and we'll see if that comes into play here. Reunited has a chance, obviously, with four minutes left, but Envious got to feel confident right now. No, MB has to be feeling really good. Earthshatter, though, coming down from wing game. A good knockdown, too. Crunches Harry Hook against the wall. We'll see if MBS can follow this up. They need a little bit more, but Justice raining from above. Tailspin with the double kill. He gets killed, but is immediately brought back up by Chips. And look at that beautiful shot on the unfixed. Not wasting any time off the resurrection. Both teams bloodying each other as they struggle here for positioning here in the last point of King's Row. All right, it's all up to Taimu to take out Tailspin. He's the only hits game character that can really hit Tailspin at range. So I'm, or sorry, not Taibu, uh, Volataja, that's what I meant. Uh, but so Volataja has to get a little bit more aggressive and make this happen for his team. Oh, Taibu oh, no. gets a double kill, Deadeye there. Tailspin a little bit of follow up. This might be just the end times here for Reunited. They have to somehow delay. They're all dead. It's not going to happen. And Envious has booked their passage to the grand finals. And uh, I hope you noticed that Taibu preemptive GG there. He was ready with the trigger finger waiting to hit enter on his GG message. And uh, surprise, surprise, it's Tailspin picking up the play of the game here. No ultimate either. There's gonna be some uh, well-placed rockets. That's always the greatest when you get play of the game, you kill a whole bunch of people and there's no Q involved. Two mid air rockets in a row. Tribes fans everywhere rejoice at those beautiful mid airs. So Reunited now going to have to go to the losers finals. And speaking of, we got to see where that's going. We're either going right into the next Reunited game or the other thing was held for us. I'm not sure quite what happened.
I think they started while we were in the midst of that last game, so we might be able to jump into the second or third game of the loser bracket final. Sounds good to me. Alrighty, so for those who are just tuning in, this is the Gosu Gamers Overwatch Weekly EU Cup. That was the winner's finals. Envious, our number two overall team against Reunited, our number three overall team per the Gosu rankings. Envious able to edge it out, but Reunited definitely giving them a tough fight across the board. And while we have a brief moment as for a break while uh, looking in the next game, big shout to our sponsors here making this happen today, OWKings.com. Go there to see strategies and guides from top players. Level up your Overwatch game. Rocket. Selling great peripherals for your PC, mice, mouse pads, and more. Goes to Gamers, of course, for organizing the tournament. And while we're talking about Matcherino, Matcherino allows you to donate directly to tournaments to boost the prize pool, support your favorite players. I do believe we've had a few uh, donations in the interim here, and let's just take a look at that right now.